I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Nog. Uh, review cup of this game is provided by the developer. Nog is kind of like an extremely playful and tactile point and click sort of thing. Not as much in the, you know, adventure, but more of in a surreal, you know, toy box kind of thing. It's a little hard to explain. It's easier to see than to explain, as you'll probably see pretty quick. Basically, the game focuses on these giant heads. Ah, Parky, you're making this difficult. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, the game kind of explains itself, I think, as Parker interrupts me. I've played this game in PSVR. I actually really love it in VR. I think it adds a lot. So, if you have PSVR, I would definitely play the game in VR. But I don't think... People don't seem to react super well to VR videos, so I just went for the 2D route. This is the non-VR version. It's kind of the same, but, you know, it's a little different. The, um... I'll explain a bit about how the VR stuff works in a bit, but there we go. I love how tactile everything is. Like I said, it's a tactile game. It's It's got the feeling of playing around with things and uh, seeing what happens. Hello, friend. What are you in these boxes? That You don't have a creepy face at all. Hello, Parker. This is by Co-op Mode. They, um, they've made some really cool stuff. That uh, I've shown a few of their other things on the uh, on the channel. This is probably the first big game I would say. Um, oh yeah, it's on PSVR and PS4. You can play it without VR. This is what I'm doing now. Um, coming to PC2 as well. I'm not sure if it's coming to PC VR or what the deal is with that. The PS4 release came first, so that's what I'm checking out. And you know, I was more interested in the game than the uh, platforms. But basically, we have a bunch of robot heads to check out and play around with. So, we start with Froggy here. Alright, <laughs> you gotta open it. This is, this is included in the PSVR demo, by the way, which has been out for a while now, actually. Um, I really like in the, in the VR version, you can kind of look around and you have this whole environment around you and you're just kind of sitting, it's just like you're sitting right in front of like a giant like poly pocket or something and open it up, poking around, doing all the stuff with all the things and it's pretty great. And you can kind of peek around, it feels really cool and makes it, uh, it really fits well with the tactileness. The <laughs> Parker actually just <laughs> pressed a helpful button for once. I think that is the first time he has ever done something useful instead of the exact opposite while playing a video game. But yeah, the game just kind of encourages you to... Uh, there's no, like, tutorials other than... I mean, that, that was the tutorial, the thing we just played a bit ago. You just kind of poke around with all the things. And, um... It's a game that you will either... You know, I think you'll know whether you uh, will really enjoy it or not. You know, it's not gonna, it's not going to be one of those things where, you know... Everybody's gonna absolutely adore it, but if you know if you know me if you're watching this channel You probably know me to some extent and you understand that this is exactly my kind of thing I've been excited for this for a long time and it's really cool to finally be able to talk about it and stuff um, So you just kind of Everything has its own sort of scenario when you come to these robot heads and uh, you can poke around and look at the uh, sides too. It's a bit more fun in VR because you can kind of look around with your set, with your you know your face hole instead of just the analog stick. But it works with the analog stick. So this buddy he wants to eat a freaking butterfly, and uh, I guess we have to find a butterfly for him. <laughs> oh, the music is really good too. The visual style really takes you know front and center, but the music for some of these is really good. I'll um. One of the ones I'll be picking is one of my favorites, um, both visually and musically speaking. So, we got a butterfly. Here. No, we need to feed you to Mr. Frog. I'm sorry. Mr. Butterfly. This is how it has to be, my friend. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> just gonna rest there. Oh! Rest in peace, Frog! What a twist. Well, what's in here? Oh, it's that thing for the thing. Woo! So all the robot heads are like totally different visually 
and um, they have their own little puzzles. It, it's it, it's a little hard to explain, but it's it's like half puzzle, half point and click, and um, it's just all about experiencing these weird little worlds and. Um, Man, I just really love the, I especially love in VR the the bugs and everything. Just this particular area feels very calming. It's like you're sitting waist deep in like a gentle stream, and there's all these bugs and stuff around you, and without any of the unpleasant odors that being in a swamp would usually be associated with, or any of the chances of bug bites and such. And you just get to play with a weird robot head, and sometimes sometimes you just want to play with a big robot head. Sometimes that's what you need in your life. It's what I need in my life. <laughs> so when you solve it... Yeah. They express their appreciation through singing. Which is the custom of their people. Parker's just making my life as difficult as possible, as usual. We got Froggy! Oh, and Purple is an especially good one. We're gonna see Purple real quick here. Well, not real quick. I mean, we're just gonna see Purple. But I really like this one. Um, so Purple is a stereo, as you can see. I really like the, this one has so much stuff to play around with, and it affects the music too, which is a really cool touch because you know it's a music thing. So let's try what the middle one is. I really love this one in particular. Has a lot of stuff where you just play with all of the things and see what everything does even more so than just you know solving puzzles like i love the stretching of the background in addition to the music it just gives this really great feel to everything <laughs> it's really hard not to smile when you just mess with all the dials and seeing what all the crap does it's just a very pure, very just mess around with game, and I really like that. It has just great vibes, as you can probably tell. This area in particular, this is vibe central, really. And this is the vibe master. He's not really feeling it right now, though. <laughs> See, he's not feeling it. I feel, I know, I know that feel, my friend. It is Monday, and I kind of had a headache before I started this video. Now we can do things? Maybe. Can I move this? Oh, yes. Your mouth. Look at the mouth. It's moving that thing. There's lots of dials and things to fiddle around with. And I just, I think there's, there's, there's just something special about pushing buttons that, um, I don't think I ever fully appreciated it until mobile games came around, and I just kind of lost that feeling of pressing things. Wait, no, we're green. We're looking for green. <laughs> There's something just very satisfying about pressing buttons that I don't think anything else really does. Like, I, I'm, I've been using the word tactile a lot, but I, it's just, it's just what it is. And it just has this, in, in, <laughs> we got an achievement for that. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, in, in interface design, there's kind of a word for that. There's, um, there's designing for delight, which is kind of a controversial thing in interface design, because I mean... Uh, not all interfaces are meant for delight. Uh, video games, obviously, a little bit different. But um, say with um, a uh, 
uh, a word processor or something, if you were to focus on delight and you know have lots of delightful animations and stuff, it might get in the way. But in a game, you can go straight for focusing on that kind of delight and just have some extraneous animation just because it feels good, just because it's enjoyable. Uh, which one are we missing? I think we're missing red, which is the bottom one. Uh, th I really love how it affects the, t the tracks just keep layering on which is something I feel is a little bit underutilized in games that feeling of layers and layers of tracks being added um, Undertale had some layers going on um, oh man I know there's some great examples of this but they're not immediately coming to mind unfortunately but you can see what I mean in this game itself you know as we saw puzzles tracks are being added I think I talked about this in another game somewhat recently. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I love that you can spin around his chair and he can go from just having a chill session to, to writing some music on his own there. The, the ability to peek is very nice. Parker likes this game too, he's watching it. He likes anything with lots of movement. So I think that's about all we can do in uh, in purple world here. So time to press the button. There's always a button you press when you're done with everything. In VR, it's kind of even more intense when you. When you both go in and when you experience the song, there's kind of this like wormhole effect of stuff going past you, and it's really cool. Uh, like I said, it's uh, VR stuff is a little weird on camera, and I don't really have a good solution. There's actually this thing called mixed reality, where they kind of do. Um... Oh, dang, I actually want to show you a different world than the. Actually, Eater. It's pretty interesting. I want to show you the. I want to show you a different one. I'll be right back. Something you never really notice you need until you're a YouTuber is the ability to have a fresh save file. I, I really wanted to be able to show that intro. So on PS4, I can just switch which account I'm using. Uh, on PC, sometimes I have a bit more trouble erasing a save file non-destructively for um, for purposes of getting a video. So with this, I can just switch to a different uh, user and oh, there's settings. Oh, just basic volume stuff. Um, I actually played all of this in one big long session over the weekend in VR. Um, not all of it, but uh, most of it. But without spoilers, I just want to show you Vortex. I want to show you one more. I really like this one too. I haven't really disliked any of them. There's a couple that weren't quite as good as the very best ones. Like Purple and Vortex, like I was saying, are my favorites, but uh, they're all pretty freaking cool. I just... There's a lot I feel would be lost in this particular game if, like, if this was just an instant action. There's so much joy in, you know, the, the lights coming up, the actual, you know, the anticipation, the, um, what do you, what's the opposite of anticipation when you, like, at the end of animation, the kind of the trail off? But, you know, th that ramp up of animation and the slowdown, it just, um, it, it makes it feel so much more real and it's just so much more fun to watch than, um, you know, just an instant switch. Alright, so what we're doing here seems pretty... Pretty obvious, right? We need to make the thing. The target or whatever. Uh, what do we... Uh, not quite like that. Where do we move the... Ah, there we go. The analog stick is perfect for this, uh, this kind of input. The... Because, you know, you're rolling around a thing. There we go. That's, that was already in the right spot, but we needed to. There we go. There you go. I hope we didn't need that part of the ship. Oh, no, we're out of oxygen things and food. Well, you get some grapes. You got to have some grapes in space. You got some uh, purple chicken. Purple is my favorite variety of chicken. You got some purple ice cream. Purple's a good kind of ice cream. You got carrots. That's all you need, really. Let's get this. I don't know if this is water or oxygen. I think that sound indicates water. 
But yeah, there you go, my friend. No reason to, no reason to panic. I love these little duders. I, I have this reflex to look in with my face holes, but no, I can't do this out of VR. It's it's nice to play in VR, but not necessary. Oh, and this thing does something really cool. If you take off the headset, the game's just right ready to go um, in non-VR. It uh, apparently takes some doing. Um, I heard the devs, I follow all the, the developers on Twitter, and uh, they said it took some doing, but uh, it was worth it in my opinion. So we need to fix things. We're in space. Uh, that's done, apparently. And there's some systems. So let's... Let's fix some things so we can go to space. <laughs> oh, then now we can repair stuff. Wait, hold on, let me get a better angle here. Oh, wait, I can't... I guess I can't really see this one too much. I, I just kind of peered my head around for this one in VR, but not an option here. Uh, I do understand why the VR videos are a little bit less appealing to watch, but... It's something that's way cooler to play. I would say it's like... What are you doing, Parker? <sighs> Your butthead. Okay, I think that's fixed, yeah. Um, fix that thing, too. Um, it's something where it's like, it's 50% it's cooler to play, but it's 50% less cool to watch or something. I don't know. It's... Are we not? I don't think we're quite... Oh, there we go. I don't know. It, it, what, what's your opinion on doing VR stuff? Am I not? Am I still not? Ah, oh, there we go. Like, personally, I don't mind too much as, like, a preview, but I, I wouldn't want to watch something long form that's, you know, in VR. Oh, I didn't fix this one quite either. Are we... Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's bring him back in. Hey, buddy. What's this do? Oh, it turns that on. What's this? Oh. Tilts it a bit. Oh, and that's how we drive. All right. I love the rainbow trail here. Whee! All right, so what's going on here? So that's fixed. Oh, we're going we're going through space. Hold on, do we need something? Ah, let's slow down a bit here. Maybe not that slow. Alright. What's this? Oh, we gotta get all the planets. What does this do? Oh! <laughs> we have very I'm not sure that's how that works, but I'll allow it. Oh here we go. These look like Katamari worlds. Like the, uh, they look like the stars you would make at the end of a Katamari game. Oh man, I kind of. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh. There we go. Perfect timing. Uh, wait. There's something over here. There's a lot of these little planets. Just go real slow. I, I wish they'd make a new Katamari, but I don't know if... Uh, I think the creator's still making Watam, I believe, which is this really cool... Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I just know it's by the creator of Katamari, and I want it. Uh, I really love Nobi Nobi Boy, as I made a video of every world in that game. Oh, no! Ah, Parker! He's freaking whipped his tail directly in my face like freaking Simon Belmont. He's very accurate with his tail swipes. I can't see, Parky. Yes, I can't see. It's a problem. Yes. All right, where's the last ones? Did I get that or not? I don't think I did. There we go. All right, what's this do? Oh, that charges us up. Oh, we're ready for takeoff. Mew, mew. 
Parker's singing too. I think they added some more visual effects around the head when it's singing in VR. It feels a little less impressive in uh, in 2D. That's a yeah, this is Nog. There's um that's not even half of the heads. What is that like a third? Um but yeah, that's that's Nog. I uh, I've been really enjoying this one. I haven't quite finished it up yet, but uh, I've loved every minute. It's um it's on PS4 and PSVR. It's uh, I think it's eventually coming to PC. I don't know exact details. I'll try to have that th that in the description. But yeah, if you like whatever that was, definitely check it out. Definitely worth your time. If you're even remotely interested in that, I definitely recommend taking the jump on that. It's one of those those unique colorful things that I think gaming really needs a lot more of and it's exactly what I want to see in VR because it's just it's not some you know dumb approximation of the real world and you know you get to run around with a gun and make shoot things we have plenty of that I don't mind that's existence but uh, when I go to VR I want something like this I want bright colors I want something vibrant and interesting that you know we can't really do here in real world city you know I want I want sub zero one with you know freaking colors b br put colors in games honestly put some nice pretty flat design I love it what are your f final words Parker is that so He's just gonna rub my elbow. Yes. <laughs> well, that is Nog.